Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Thursday, March 28th, 2024, and now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Google is launching several new artificial intelligence-powered tools to help travelers plan trips, writes travel technology reporter Justin Dawes. The new tools will allow Google Search to create itineraries based on prompts from users. Dawes reports users can search for a trip itinerary and they'll see a flight and hotel option, as well as suggestions for attractions and dining. Google said the AI tools use information appearing online and reviews that users post about businesses. Google is also enhancing its Maps app to provide users more details about certain destinations in the U.S. and Canada. Next, the U.S. State Department will receive $50 million to help it cut visa wait times and passport backlogs, writes global tourism reporter DeWitt Hoptimerium. President Joe Biden recently signed a bill into law that would provide the department more resources to tackle lengthy visa wait times, one of the travel industry's most pressing issues. The average wait time for a first-time visitor visa for the U.S.'s top inbound markets is roughly 400 days, according to the U.S. Travel Association. More than 300 industry professionals recently lobbied federal lawmakers to take action on the issue of excessive visa wait times. Finally, Australia saw a record number of visitors from India last year. Asia editor Pidan Domabutia turned to Nishant Kashikar, Tourism Australia's country manager for India, to find out about Australia's recent success in attracting Indian tourists. Australia welcomed roughly 402,000 arrivals from India from February 2023 to January 2024. India is now Tourism Australia's fifth largest inbound market. Kashikar partly attributed that record number to an increase in weekly flights from India to Australia and to a simplified visa application process for Indian travelers. Kashikar added that Australia has also seen a significant surge in business travel from India. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skift.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.